Good morning everyone. Today, I, Srijita Ghosh, with my team, is going to represent the puppet show on Tenali Raman II. Enjoy the show. It was a cool, sunny autumn morning in the city of Vijayanagar. King Krishna Devaraya was on the throne. Tall, dusky man in a spotless white cotton dhoti and angavastram strolled out of his house. He walked down slowly, looking about him with a slight smile as he headed towards the royal palace. The man went past an orchid of mango trees. When he heard the high voices of children raised in a heated argument, something in an excited chatter made him stop to listen. One voice shouted, It's my turn to play the king. A tall, skinny 12-year-old had decided he is going to be the king. You promised I would be Krishna Devaraya and you can be the soldier this time. Then can I be Prime Minister Salwa Timma instead? I don't want to be a soldier or a courtier. Instead. Ah, they are planning to act in a play. This could get interesting. A plump boy with large bright eyes flicked back his long hair and said, Play any role you want as long as I am the royal court's wittiest and cleverest man ahem. Then Ali Raman, of course. King yelled, Soldiers, bring in the first case. This is a real problem. Can you solve it, King? Your Majesty. Go oh, on, Kesava. I am here about the cow, Your Majesty. Cow? What cow? Asked the puzzled Minister Timma. His cow in our garden, chewing up all the pumpkins. What else? What cow? Whose garden? Pumpkins? Minister Timma was now beginning to sound a bit like a parrot. Explain yourself, my man. Krishnadeva frowned regally. We do not understand. I mean, my neighbor's cow getting into our garden. The neighbor never kept his cow properly tied up and the cow would break free and keep getting into my kitchen garden. It had chewed up the banana plant, stamped over the lime tree and devastated the pumpkin patch. My father had tried to stop it by building a bamboo fence, but the terrible cow just trampled over it and had now chewed up my mother's precious marigold. What can I do about it, Kesava? Ask the neighbor to tie up the animal properly and pay for the damages caused by his cow. I can't. Why not? Your king orders it. Minister Timma sprang forward. My neighbor is a wrestler. What should Kesava do? One courtier suggested, Build a stone wall around the garden. You think my poor father has the money for fancy stone walls? He is just a potter and he is still paying for Then stop growing bananas and pumpkins. Then what will my mama put in sambar? Grass? No longer able to stop himself, laughed out aloud. <laughs> Six pairs of astonished eyes swift to stare at him. Forgive me boys. I hope you don't mind my watching your play and listening to your problem. It's so funny. I mean it's very interesting.
interesting. You are most welcome, sir. The half science Denali Raman spoke for the first time. Maybe you can suggest a solution to my friend Kesava's problem. Kesava, you can send your boats to make your neighbor's garden as revenge. You are again forgetting the wrestler. He'll come and beat up both Kesava and his father. What do you like more, Kesava, pumpkin or parasam? Parasam, of course. The next time the cow is busy chewing the banana plants or the pumpkin wine, get a pot and quickly milk her. Give the milk to your mother to make parasam or sell it in the bazaar to buy some pumpkins. Do this every time the cow enters your kitchen garden. And when the wrestler finds that someone is milking his cows, He'll tie her up with a thick rope and make sure she stays at home. Quite simple, really, don't you think? I could do that. I am very good at milking cows and goats. Uh, a satisfied sigh floated across the court and everyone, even the king and prime minister, clapped loudly as Tinali took a deep bow. The problem had been finally solved. Walked up to Tenali and would look. He handed the grinning boy a silver coin. This is for all of you to send in the bazaar. He stood behind an excited bunch of boys planning what to buy with the sudden earrings. The real Tenali Raman walked away. He stopped and laughed aloud in <laughs> sheer delight. Well then, Ali, you thought you were so clever, but a little boy has bitten you.